Hello, my name is Mike M0 MSN and uh, welcome to a December morning um, <laughs> in sunny Gloucester. Uh, well, it's not that bad this morning. Temperatures are around about uh, four, four or five degrees Celsius. Um, no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but uh, it's not too cold. Um, okay, so we're going to try to uh, to measure out a couple of lengths of um, hard line. Uh, this is uh, Helix, uh, Andrews Helix which is, I believe this is the 15 mil uh, variety, um, 75 ohms. It's not really important what the ohmage on this particular uh, length of coax is because I'm going to be uh, cutting it into two five meter lengths um, to make my loops. Um, so we're only gonna be using the, uh, the, the external um, shield, braid, core. It's actually solid, uh, solid copper on Andrews, which is why I'm choosing it. Uh, and we'll turn that into two loops um, of five meter circumferences. I don't know what that is in the diameter. I'll have, a, I'll have to check that, uh, get a bit of maths out in a minute, but I ref, roughly gonna be 1.2, I believe, meter diameter. Um, and we're gonna make two loops out of that. Uh, and then I'll invert one of the loops uh, and solder it to the end of um, <laughs> the end of a loop. Yeah. I'll solder it to uh, the continuation of the top loop. I'm sure this will all become quite clear when I start doing it. Um, so I'll have one loop above the other loop um, and it'd be one continuous loop. So if you can imagine a big loop and you basically, you know, twist it through 180 degrees, you'll get a figure of eight. That's what I intend to do. And I'll put the capacitor in the middle. Anyway, so let's uh, measure out some coax and uh, we'll, uh, we'll start. Okay, so here's the um, the tape, and uh, we've uh, I've attached it to the to the uh, to a slab at the other end there, so I can pull it nice and tight. Um, I've got to try to find the the five meter point. Um, okay, so for those, there's the five meter point, and in good old English stroke imperial measurements that is 16 feet and I believe six inches no 16 foot five inches so let me just have a look so there's the the five inch point on the 16 feet and if I turn it over it is the five meter point yes okay so I need two lengths of coax uh, 16 foot five or five meters long So if we look at it from this point, we have our lower loop and here we have the uh, capacitor. This will be one side of the capacitor and then that obviously continues up around top of the loop and back down into the other side of the capacitor which will be below it. I need to cut the shield off of this coax. It's a small length. There we go. I just need to cut it off because I need to use the, the core inside as the joiners for my loop. I also need to redo my uh, worktop. My wife has decided that it's at the point now where I need to make good my promise of keeping this in good condition. Still, we'll do that soon. Right. So this is the uh, the uh, the braid or the the shield on Heliax Andrews coax. 
Um, this one's a foam filled one. And what I want to do is I need to cut a small section and then cut down the length of it and bear it open slightly so I can wrap this around the outside of my loop so that I can use it as a joiner. Um, I hope you understand what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, follow me through. So the answer is you grip the internal See if I can bash it into a semicircle. Right, so that's one end. Let's do the exactly the same on the other end. Excellent, there we go. So you do exactly the same on the other um, loop, and the idea is that you place these over the end and crimp them on. Um, once that side is soldered in place, you then get the other loop and you connect the other loop to it like so. Crimp that over, solder that in place and you have a continuation.
Okay, let's uh, see if I can bring you up to date with what I've done. Um, here's the uh, the connections I've uh, shrink wrapped as you saw, but I thought I would um, mark them as um, hot and code for no reason. Um, they could be the other way around. It's just a, um, a way in my head, if you like, to know which side of the capacitor they're going to go on. Um, uh, it could be either which way, to be fair. Okay. So I'm going to put the, um, the nickel plated copper into a, a ring terminal um, with some heat shrink and that will connect to the bottom of the capacitor on the one side and I'll do the same on the other side. Um, and then we'll mount it on a fiberglass pole. Now, just to give you some idea, this hoop is 12 foot tall, nearly. Um, <laughs> it's uh, 1.5 meters for each loop, which is six foot or thereabouts, probably closer to five foot. So it's 10 foot tall. Um, and uh, obviously that has to go above the ground by probably half a loop to make it all work. Anyway, we'll move on. Okay, so here's my less than elegant way of uh, connecting the bottom of my capacitor to the, the loop. I've got a... How can I put it? This is a nickel plated um, copper braid, earthing strap if you like, um, that I've connected to one side of the capacitor and it goes round to the to the loop and on the other side I've done exactly the same, it goes round to the loop. Maybe I can bring it out and make it look a little bit more. Yeah, it's not elegant but it is literally uh, just a test. Hopefully you can see how that uh, how it all works. <laughs> yeah, stuck together with earth um, coated PVC tape. Don't really worry about that. And what I need to do now is get it up on a on a higher pole and put the coupling loop on and see where we're at as far as tuning is concerned. <laughs>